taxi fare missions are a 100% requirement in GTA 3. And for some players, they can be a bit hard, especially if you don't know the streets and keep failing for lack of time. But what if you had a faster taxi? It would make it easier, right? Fortunately, with this trick, you can have just that and many more. This trick is very simple and will enable you to use other vehicles as taxi, rather than just the taxi, the cabbie or the bornine. So, the first thing you are going to need is one of these taxi vehicles, and finding one in GTA 3 is quite easy, as they often spawn in normal traffic. In fact, it's probably one if not the most common vehicle in traffic, and even spawns frequently outside of the safe houses. But there are also a few locations where you can find these vehicles parked, even in Portland. If you want to use a taxi, just head over to Salvatore's Gentleman's Club entrance, and right in front of it, one will always spawn on a small park just around the corner. If you rather want to use a cabbie, just head near Joey's garage. Next to it is the Bitchin' Dog factory. And just around the corner, you will find the Mint Street Taxi Depot. And the cabbie is always parked there. Ok, this one is rather unnecessary for helping with the taxi fare missions, since it will only spawn after you complete them. But anyway, you can also use this vehicle to perform the trick for other means, that I will show on another video. So, just complete the 100 fares and just head north of Hepburn Heights, and it will spawn in the Bornine Texas Depot, near the head radio building. Once you get one of these vehicles, find a random vehicle you rather use to make the fares. In this case, I chose the Banshee, which you can find in the Easy Credit Autos dealership. Now, to perform the trick, you need to be inside the taxi, then press and hold the Look Behind button, and exit the taxi still holding it. Get near the vehicle you want to use as a taxi. But note, that since you are looking backwards, moving the player will be a bit different, so at first it might take you a few rounds to get the hang of it. When you are finally next to the vehicle, press the Enter Vehicle button, still holding the look behind, and wait until the player is inside the vehicle to release it. If done right, this should start the taxi missions. A taxi driver message should appear, and you should be able to use that vehicle to perform the fares. But anyway, remember that leaving the vehicle or destroying it before that matter will make you fail the mission as it will do in a normal taxi. In the matter of this trick, there are actually a few differences between the gaming platforms. For example, the trick won't work, or at least for now, in the mobile versions. Although you can trigger the mission outside the taxi by press and holding the screen in the middle, whenever you try to enter the second vehicle, it will trigger the fares before you are inside, thus ending the mission before it even starts. 
For the PC and PlayStation platform, however, it's possible to convert basically any vehicle in a taxi, although in the case of the PlayStation, the trick will be a bit more glitchy when using emergency vehicles, because usually it won't trigger the taxi fares and will trigger the vehicle's mission instead. This glitch seems to be time-related, as for example, when using a police car, if you release the trigger when you have fully entered and closed the door, the game will start the vigilante missions. But if you release it just a few milliseconds before the door closes, there's a chance it might trigger the taxi fares instead. Now, if you are playing on a PC, the same can happen, but avoiding this can be quite easy. Just make sure that at least one of the look behind buttons while on foot is different than the submission trigger button. For example, I usually use the caps lock as a look behind button, but I don't set it for the mission trigger. This will even make the trick easier, as once you enter the second vehicle, the taxi fares will start automatically, even without releasing the button. This way is also safer, as it won't trigger the vehicle mission by mistake and will always start the taxi fares. The PlayStation platform, however, needs for the buttons to be coincidental, as using just the look behind button won't do the trick. So make sure you set the buttons to be the same, and afterwards just release it at the right moment. Note that there are a few other glitches related to this trick that can really mess up your game, especially when the buttons are the same. Sometimes, using emergency vehicles might trigger multiple fares at the same time. Some are real, others are fake, that will just stand where they are, waving their hand like the normal ones do, but simply won't enter your vehicle. This will also trigger multiple fake destinations, making it even more confusing. Now, when you finish one, it will give you a two fares completed stats, and two more will be available, one real and another fake. If you kill any of the fake fares, the dead pedestrian will remain marked. And if you kill one of the real ones, two more will show. But the main problem is that this glitch can eventually break the mission, because at some point it might trigger only fake fares and won't spawn real ones. This usually happens when delivering a fare to a location where you won't have other fares available, like for example Chrissy Joe's Diner or the Super Safe. You will then have to get to another location to get new fares, and it will then show some quick fake blips in the map, making all pedestrians in sight to wave their hands like a passenger, although they won't be marked as such, and will just act like a fake fare, making it impossible to finish the missions. Now here's where the problem becomes bigger, because if you cancel the mission, some of the markers may remain on the minimap forever, even after saving and reloading, really messing up the game, or at the very least, making a mess of your minimap. Another glitch, and this one might be even worse, is if you trigger the vehicle mission while trying to trigger the taxi fares on an emergency vehicle, the game will disable the taxi fare missions from then on and saving that game and reloading it won't fix it and most probably will break your game, preventing you from making the taxi fares and thus making it possible to reach 100% in the stats. So, if you are playing the game on a PlayStation platform, I would really avoid trying to convert emergency vehicles as much as possible, but if, for some reason, you want to or need to, just make sure the taxi fare mission starts on the first try, and that only one fare will be enabled. If not, 
just reload to your previous save and try again. Ok, so now that you know this trick, you no longer have to depend on the normal taxis to do these missions. And you can just use your favorite vehicle instead. As for mobile players, I can only hope a method can be found soon, so that we can too use this amazing trick while playing in these devices. But don't worry, as although this trick might not work on the mobile versions, other tricks do, and some can really be very helpful for this task. But for that, you must wait for my next video, and meanwhile, well, you can just do it old school, and complete the taxi fares the way we are meant to. So that's it for now, thanks for watching, just feel free to subscribe, like, share or simply watch my videos, and stay tuned as more is on the way.